hold on to your vintage cinema seats, folks. We're diving into the sultry, shadowy world of Joseph W. Sarno, the master of mid-century erotica. His films are like a smorgasbord of sensual delights, spiced up with psychological depth and wrapped in that unmistakable 60esto 70s charm. If you've never heard of him, well, buckle up. You're about to embark on a roller coaster ride of tasteful nudity, tortured souls, and a whole lot of dehem. Artistic expression. So, let's count down the top 10 Joseph W. Sarno films according to the all knowing internet, where every opinion is as valid as the next. 10. The Naked Fog, 1966. Imagine a fog so thick, you can't see your hand in front of your face. Now imagine that fog is naked. Welcome to Sarno's world, where even the weather strips down. This steamy tale of a young woman caught in the sleazy side of New York is as hazy as its title suggests. But don't worry, the plot isn't the only thing that's revealing. It's got more lingerie than a Victoria's Secret catalog, but with a lot more drama and far less plot coherence. 9. Moonlighting Wives, 1966 Move over. Mad Men Sarno's Moonlighting Wives are here to show you how the real 60s power women rolled. They've got day jobs, night jobs, and a few jobs in between that require less clothing and more imagination. This film is like the feminist revolution. If the feminist revolution involved more velvet couches and seductive saxophone solos, it's a tale of entrepreneurial spirit with some extra fringe benefits. 8. Confessions of a Young American Housewife, 1974 The title alone is worth the price of admission. Spoiler alert, these confessions aren't exactly what you'd find in your average diary. Unless your diary involves shocking encounters with European in-laws and a lot of questionable decisions made in the name of self-discovery. It's like underscore the graduate underscore, but without the intellectual angst and with much more educational content. 7. All the Sins of Sodom, 1968 Welcome to the original Sin City, where the modeling world is as sinful as it sounds. Forget your next door neighbor's boudoir photos. This one's got scandal, seduction, and so much black and white mood lighting, you'll need sunglasses just to watch it. If only Sodom had Yelp reviews, great lighting, but the moral corruption was a bit much. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. Inga, 1968. If there's one thing Sarno knew how to do, it was to cast Nordic blondes who looked like they walked straight out of a fairy tale and then put them in very adult situations. Inga is a coming-of-age story with all the awkwardness that comes with, well, coming of age in a Sarno film. It's like Cinderella. If Cinderella had a lot more to confess and Prince Charming needed a cold shower. 5. Vampire Ecstasy, 1973 Yes, you read that right. Vampires, Ecstasy, and Sarno. If you thought vampires were only about biting necks, this movie will show you just how creatively wrong you can be. It's gothic horror meets softcore, with a dash of ancient rituals, a pinch of lesbianism, and a whole lot of things that go bump in the night. The tagline should have been, even Dracula couldn't dream this up. 4. Sin in the Suburbs, 1964. Suburbia has never looked so scandalous. Before Desperate Housewives, there was Sarno's sinful suburbs. Housewives with a penchant for scandal, husbands with wandering eyes, and a secret society that's got nothing to do with book clubs, unless the books are wrapped in brown paper covers. This film redefines what it means to borrow a cup of sugar from the neighbor. 3. The Devil's Plaything, 1973. What do you get when you mix an ancient castle, a bunch of beautiful women, and some sinister supernatural elements? Sarno's underscore the devil's plaything underscore, of course. If you're looking for plot logic, you're in the wrong place. But if you're looking for eerie atmospheres, 
moody lighting, and scenes that will make you question every old castle tour you've ever taken. This one's for you. Two, The Bed and How to Make It, 1966. Uh, yes, the ultimate DIY project. This film is Sarno's answer to underscore this old house underscore, except the only thing getting renovated is the audience's threshold for innuendo. It's less about actual furniture construction and more about deconstructing the furniture while some serious discussions take place on it. Expect less hammering nails and more, well, you get the picture. One, Young Playthings, 1972. And at number one, the crown jewel of Sarno's filmography, according to the fine folks of the internet. Underscore Young Playthings Underscore is like a pop art fever dream wrapped in a coming of age story, dipped in a vat of pure Sarno essence. The plot is as loose as the morals, but the characters are charmingly naive, making it the quintessential Sarno experience. It's everything you didn't know you needed in a movie, and everything your parents probably warned you about. There you have it, folks. The top 10 Joseph W. Sarno films according to the highly esteemed and completely reliable opinion of the internet. Whether you're looking for a blast from the past or just a reason to question your life choices, these films have got you covered. Now, go forth and explore just make sure the curtains are closed. Who's your daddy?